My phone of the year for 2013 is definitely the HTC One. It's only the third ever smartphone to get a five star rating on Tech Radar and it more than deserves it. It's got a beautiful design, a really crisp screen and some really clever technology under the hood. My phone of the year is different to the actual phone of the year we think. So I think the HTC One is the best phone overall of the year, but personally, the LG G2 is the phone I really, really like. And that's simply because it does everything. It's so powerful, the screen is so big. Now the design isn't so great, the UI isn't perfect, but those are things that I can get past. So it's a two-pronged approach really for this. HTC One is the best phone of the year, but my favorite phone is the LG G2. For me, the phone of the year has to be the Galaxy S4. Since its launch, I've been using it every single day. Okay, some better phones may have come out in that time, but not enough for me to go, I want to replace it. So for me, it's the Galaxy S4. Now, I'm sure this is going to be contentious. I really like the HTC One. I really like the Galaxy S4, but my phone of the year, indisputably, is the iPhone 5S. I think Apple gets a lot of criticism, but this is a really lovely piece of kit. iOS 7 is beautiful. I really like the change. I think it was necessary, and I think it was really, really good. And I even like the gimmick of being able to open it from my thumb. I know that's pretty poor, but I really enjoy doing it. I actually really like the iPhone 5C, which got a bit of a bad rap because it does look a little bit like a toy, but I like the bright colours, and you're still getting the full iOS 7 experience, you're just paying a little bit less for it. I'm not sure about those weird Connect 4 cases, they look a bit funny, but the phone itself is decent. The Nexus 5 really stole the show for me this year. Not only is it a beautiful looking phone, but Android KitKat is such a smoother experience than Android's ever been before, and with Google now thrown in there as well, it's becoming a really, really powerful OS. 